Please don't make this a miserable episode for me in terms of gameplay, please. We need better players. Yo, what's going on Leafer Nation? It's Leafer back again and welcome back to the channel. We are back with episode 3 of Monopoly Hut and the support you guys have been showing on it has been unreal. So thank you guys so much. Uh, so before we roll the dice for the first time this episode, we have some uh, chores to uh, take care of, I guess. So look in here, we uh, completed an objective here, which is open up daily reward packs. We get a base pack for doing that and EA gave out a free pack for all the, uh, you know, things that went wrong with EA play. Uh, so we have those. And then we also have um, our rival rewards available, which isn't too much, but it is a premiums player pack. So that's not bad. And we get an achievement for that. That is so loud in my ears. So before we open up packs, we have some other packs to open. So we're going to start with the base pack, you know, worth to the better pack, obviously. So let's see what we can get in here again. At this point, anything would be great here. An X Factor player, something. Um, yeah, Ruta is definitely not going to help the team out. This is a base pack, so I guess we shouldn't expect too much from it. And we obviously got nothing from it, which is okay. We have a player's pack, 180 overall. We get two. Okay, so let's go with the player's pack first. This is the one EA gave us for all the troubles they had during EA play. So we got Luke Glendening, uh, Kershev. Uh, come on, man. Something to help out the team so far. I don't think any of these guys would make it Maybe Luke Glendening could possibly make the team, but other than that nothing else John Marino might not be a bad shout on the back end there And that's about it there and then we get a premium players pack Which is 10 items all gold players with at least 280 plus overall So let's see what our 280 plus the overalls are gonna be we get a Brian little uh, Wow, you still play hockey. That's crazy Oh, come on. Rasmus, Rasmus Anderson's one of our 80s, not the greatest. Kevin Con, Con Okay, Kevin, I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. I'm so bad with names. I'm just realizing this. We get one more 80 plus, and it's a Derek Broussard. My goodness, we have no luck with packs. Um, yeah, okay. So I guess Derek Broussard can come in for Quinton Byfield. He had a good run with the team, just a better overall, so we're going to make that exchange there. Uh, John Marino and Rasmus Anderson are going to be coming in for two uh, for a 77 and a 70 uh, oh, two 77s, which is perfect. So that is an upgrade on the back end, which we uh, actually really did need. So we will definitely take that. The pairings look much better: Hall, Muzzin, uh, Anderson, Vadinin, uh, Orlov, and Marino. So we will definitely, definitely take that. And you guys might call me dumb, but I'm gonna keep Hall and Muzzin together. I actually like the way they've been playing together. All right. So last time uh, we left off, we landed on special pack. So we are on the left side of the board, two spots up. We're hoping for a good uh, roll here. Uh, we got buy any player. We got packs. Miss a turn. Discard best player. Let's not land on that. So here we go. First roll of the episode, and we get a five. So a five is open up two premium packs. Um, okay, sure. All right, so there's so many good special packs out today with a new event being out and all. But uh, anyways, we're going to go ahead, open up two of these premium packs, and we're hoping for the best here, obviously. So EA, give us something that can be thrown onto our team. Igor Shostakin, uh, we might put him in instead of um, Alex over there. Uh, we'll definitely see about that. I, I, goaltending is just so like it doesn't really matter I guess in, in a way when it comes to 80 pluses um, But okay, we get uh, an 83 overall that doesn't really help out the team as much as I wanted it to I'm kind of looking for some better forwards and defensemen if I'm gonna be honest and uh, yeah that that It's good. It's an 83 plus so let's see what we can get here last pack and then uh, with whatever upgrades we can throw them onto the team and then head into our first game of the episode We get 500 coins there, which is nice uh, Whoa, holy coins. All right, that's a big coin boost for the pack um, And I have a feeling that means we're not gonna pull anything in it Which I am correct, but we'll take the coins and we'll see if your stake and we'll uh, we'll make the team I think he will man. I didn't uh, realize Alex is only six feet sure is 6-1 so that's a little bit better we'll throw him into the net there see what he can do and uh that's that and if we have a well-rounded coach we're gonna have our first synergy activated here so let's do that real quick hopefully we do we do not so that's kind of tough um but we're one off well-rounded so that's something all right let's head into our first game we've yet to be ranked this week so let's get that done let's see if we can score with panarin and kyle connor so we can get them upgraded as well as we did upgrade them last episode so uh let's see what we can do here um and hopefully um you know we don't get pooped on first game of the day 87 mckinnon 91 matthews 82 uh kuznetsov dope 
Dope. 90, he's got 91 Matthews. That's sick. I do find it funny at this point, but I just know I'm going to get so annoyed this game. I'm going to try my hardest not to get annoyed. Let's hope for the best here. Let's see what this team can do. All right. Good interception by Mott there. Here we go. To the point. Jake Muzzin back across. Justin Hall. And oh, the deflection from Ricard Raquel. First shot on goal. Gets tipped from the clapper from Justin Hall. And like I said, I like Muzzin and Hall together. It's good that we kept them. We got a 1-0 lead early. Let's keep building momentum off of that. All right, we got the curve for line on with Panarin and Connor. If we can get them some goals, that would be huge. Uh, so let's see what we can do. Kyle Connor over to Kerfoot. What a save, dude. We are flying out here right now. Um, and we are going to get sped on. But good save. And that, that is a five minutes. Bad hit. But I don't think it's a five-minute penalty. We, we're we handcuffing ourselves already after just such a great start. Not not good from the boys here. Get that to Chris Tierney. Beautiful. Chris Tierney. Oh, we tried, all right. Mott. Held in front to Chris Tierney. That got poked. He couldn't even get a shot off there. Nice try, though. There you go, Vadanen. Good little LT to get around him. He doesn't have the speed, though. That's the thing. But he does have the heart, and that's all that matters with this team. Rasmus Anderson taking a shot in his debut. This has been a great kill so far. Short-handed goal incoming. Chris Tierney from Travis Konechny. I think it was Konechny. It's a 2-0 lead for the boys. This guy is an unreal team, and we're winning 2-0. It's a shorty. We take those. 2-0. Bang. Puck hole. Oh, we got another. What's the call for? Interference. We are really bad uh, with not taking penalties. Good block by Bertuzzi. Well, that puck went straight to him, and it's a goal. Make it a 2 1 hockey game. He scores a 5 on 3 goal. Anthony Duclair from TJ Oshie. It's 2 1. Uh, just stop taking penalties, man. Like, I'm playing like an idiot. Derek Broussard, I believe it's his debut. We were able to just keep that puck in. John Marino over to Orlov. Oh, that almost just went in. That was a good blocker save there. John Marino. I tried passing that up to Bertuzzi. We take that though. All right, Kerfoot. I need you to get the hell out of the way. Orlov, just rip that, buddy. Kerfoot, we dunk all day. It's a 3-1 lead. Alex Kerfoot first for the team. I don't care. I do not care with this team. I'm taking all the dunks I can. 3-1, let's go. All right, let's continue moving here, boys. This is a good good start from us probably our best performance of the series so far all right after one it is three to one us i couldn't check the stats because i quickly was spamming a so that's my bad but hey we keep it up and uh, we should win this game easily let's go tierney chris tierney oh chris tierney is just on one today second of the game make that 4-1 we finally got that fourth goal good stuff it's a good poke he still has it somehow that almost got through Go Panarin. Take the outside. He's going to give it to us. Artemi, and that's an upgrade. Artemi Panarin makes it 5 1. It's an upgrade for Artemi. Things you love to see. I believe we're going to get to get get to get him up to a 79 now. Man, that was a tongue twister. Oh, Travis Konechny. Oh my god, almost made it 6 1 there. Konechny again. Across. Bonino. Oh, good defensive play, man. Let's go, Orlov. Dmitry Orlov. Oh my god. Bar down Dmitry Orlov. Make it 6-1. to one. We're running away with this game at this point. Chris Tierney. Over to Mott. That's another shorthanded goal. 7-1. I, I kind of feel bad at this point. At the end of two, I mean, looking at the stats, explains why it is a 7-1 game. I want to see this guy's team quickly because I know he has a really good one. Uh, he has base McKinnon, which is insane. And I know he has that 91 Matthews, which is absolutely insane as well. And he's got this 86 price. So... We, uh, we just got to keep going here. We're going to throw on Panarin and Connor as much as we can this period. Try to get them as many upgrades as we can this game because Lord knows we need it. Over to Panarin. Oh, what a save. Over to Connor. We tried. We did try. That could have been another upgrade, man. Oh, my. The rebound went straight to kill Makar's stick. Make that a 7-2 hockey game. That's okay. We're fine. He's got that Makar too. That's insane. There you go, Peary. Brandon Peary makes it an 8-2 hockey game. Oh, 
Oh, good goal. 8-3. Fair enough. Get the second line on, please. All right. We win a game there. I think it was 8-3. to three. We only got one goal with Panarin. It is what it is. It's okay. We're getting our ranking here. We should be at least in bronze at this point. We scored the, the maximum goals we could. Um, and we are definitely in bronze, so that's good to know. We got a bunch of uh, objectives completed there. And looking at our goal scorers today, Tierney had two, Raquel had one. And like I said, Panarin had that one, so we do get to upgrade Panarin uh, plus one overall. So let's go do that quickly. So my buddy Panarin, you got a goal, which means you get one more upgrade. We get him up to an 80 for 1250 coins. That is great. Absolutely huge. Things you'll love to see. And he has well-rounded too, so we have our first synergy activated. If I'm not mistaken. No, I am mistaken. I thought uh, we did, but we didn't. My bad. But hey, 80 overall Panarin. We like to see that. And then we completed a bunch of objectives here. So most of them is going to be coins. It's about, what, 700 coins right there. And then we get a Superstar Origin collectible, which we can try and build a Superstar player. I don't know if we're going to be able to because we just don't have the funds for that. All right, so looking at the board here, we last left off at two premium packs. Now looking here, uh, if we get a one, it's missed a turn. Two, it's one uh, premium pack. Three, it's discard best player. So let's not roll a three. We get a four, it's two packs. Five pack line and six is special pack. So if we can get a six, there's some pretty good special packs out in the store right now. So we are going to roll the dice for the second and final time this episode. We are hoping it is a decent roll. Please dice and board bless us rolling the dice and we get a five so a five is a pack line um i'm not sure what pack we should open for this because i don't think we'd be able to build a line with a premium pack so let's head into the store here um i don't know what pack is best to open for this maybe like a breakout pack um maybe even like a premium players pack because it's all gold players i think we're gonna go with the premium pack so we have a chance of pulling something good 10 items all gold players at least 280 plus overall players whatever we get in here we have to build a line with whether it be forwards or defense here so here we go uh that's a goaltender so that doesn't really matter brady kachuk who just signed a contract with the senators not too long ago uh so he can definitely be on one of our lines so that's good uh that's another goaltender we get, okay, that, hey, so far we got a pretty good pack line going here. Uh, so we got Yeager there. Uh, we need one more uh, forward. Uh, Barchese might be the guy there that might play. Uh, we need a right-handed player. All right, Belzeal, DeHarnay, and Jonas Donskoy. So I think our pack line is going to be Jonas Donskoy. Uh, Yegor over here and Brady Kachuk not too bad so the question is which line is going to be taken out and I think it's going to be our very last line which I am 100% okay with so this is our pack line here which looks good it looks better than our third line so we're going to switch up the third and fourth line um, and then we have a pretty good decent pack line there um, I'm not going to complain about it uh, pretty good pack huge upgrades to the team regardless so with that being said let's head into the second episode or let's head into the second game this episode um talking can be hard sometimes second game of the episode he's got uh 82 posture knock 91 yager and 82 goudreau so not the greatest team and i'm assuming that yager is going to be that loan that you can get so let's see what happens we just came off a very hot eight to three win we're hoping we can continue with that so here we go baby and right, here we go Jake Muzzin, Ricard Raquel, good stuff. Oh, we got through to Kyle Connor. What a save, man. We could have got Kyle Connor an upgrade there. That was a big save. Another shot from Connor. Good shit from this line here. Good shit from Connor in general, man. To the point. Get the Muzzin, Jake Muzzin. Oh my God, dude. Nice try. Ricard Raquel. Oh, not a good pass. It's okay. You know what? We need this line to get changed. Kyle Connor, able to keep that. Kyle Connor, oh my God, Connor with some great chances here, man. Should have had two goals by now, f just from Connor alone. There you go, all good. See you, Connor. Quick pass to Panarin, beautiful. Artemi Panarin, take that trickle in, poke it. No, we couldn't get it. Tierney's still on this ice. Panarin, another huge save from Demko. We are getting robbed by Thatcher Demko right now. Brandon Peary, all right, that's a good save. Oh, I hate myself, I hate myself, I hate myself. As soon as I hit RT, I knew that puck was gonna head into the back of the net. One nothing hockey game, I I, I always just shoot myself in the foot, I, it, it sucks. End of one, we're down one nothing because of my stupidity. 
it, I feel like I've been playing real good. I'm not too worried. We just got to get one past Thatcher Demko, who's been robbing us so far. Oh, what a save off of that deflection. I almost did it again, dude. Let's go, Muzzin. Kyle Connor. To Kerfoot. Kyle Connor is having himself a game. What a pass over to Alexander Kerfoot. 1-1 one, one game. We score real goals here on the channel, even though I dunked last game. What a pass. What a goal. Things you love to see. Oh, Tyler Mott off to the races. There it is. Make it 2-1. to one. A horrible pass by him. We take advantage of that turnover. And Tyler Mott gets us another one. 2-1 hockey game. Let's go. There you go. Take a little bump. Donskoy. The pack line's on right now. Brady Kachuk. Over. And make it 3-1. to one. The pack line gets a goal this episode. You'll love to see it. Uh, Sissa from Kachuk and Donskoy. Literally the whole pack line getting a point on that third goal. Make it a 3-1 to one hockey game. We love it, boys. Let's keep it going. Kerfoot. To Connor. To Panarin. Oh, nice try. That was some good pass in there. Kerfoot. Beautiful from Alexander Kerfoot. He's off to the races as well. No, that's a good defensive play. I tried doing too many moves there on the breakaway. End of two. We were up three to one. It's honestly a pretty even game looking at it here. Uh, we just got to keep going. I'll feel way more comfortable with one more goal, obviously. We're going to try to tie up again. And this time, Konechny's going to come in and we'll try to go cross him to Kyle Connor again. Trying to get Connor an upgrade here. And it's going to work. Kyle Connor gets one. 4-1 on the power play, and that is a upgrade for Mr. Kyle Connor. So we got to upgrade Panarin and Kyle Connor in back-to-back -back episodes. Uh, things you absolutely just love seeing. Yo, Kerfoot. Oh, that was a nice look for Connor. We just couldn't get it. Oh, this is horrible defense for me. That is so bad for me, dude. I thought I could have landed the hit. I shouldn't have won for that. 4-2. Smarten up, man. I need to smarten the F up. I mean, since this guy doesn't know how to tie up clearly, we're going to go for it again. I don't know if this is going to work. We got the pack line on here. So we're going to try to tie it up, get it across to Brady Kachuk. Brady Kachuk. And it works again to make it 5-2. The pack line connecting on another goal. Um, we're going to keep this line intact, I think. We like it. That's another great line. Okay, 5-3. I went quiet because I didn't think anything was going to happen of that. Right after we score another go-ahead goal, he gets it back and he cuts the lead right back into half. I'm so bad at defense. There you go, Donskoy. Beautiful plays from Jonas Donskoy here. Brady Kachuk. Oh, bar down and out. My goodness, how did that not go in? Let's go, Tierney. Yes, he gets through. Take the shot. Chris Tierney and it goes in. 6-2. to two. Let's hold this three-goal lead for now, please. There's only a minute left. Great shot from Chris Tierney. He's having himself an episode. Good stuff. Let's keep it up. Oh, Kyle Connor wants another one. Kyle Connor wants another upgrade. Oh, nice try. Artemi, one last shot. Oh, just wide. Good game, though. We go 2-0 and oh this episode. We do get an upgrade for Kyle Connor, I believe. I'm pretty sure he scored this game. We'll, we'll check just to be safe. But what an episode, man. We put ourselves into silver after winning two games this episode, which is huge. Uh, we did we played pretty well today. I'm pretty proud of myself. I'm pretty happy with the team. They did well. Uh, Looking here, Kyle Connor with a goal and an assist. So we get to upgrade him plus one. Uh, Kerfa played amazing. Kachuk had an amazing game. The pack line had an amazing game in general. And I'm pretty sure Panarin did not score this game. He did not. He didn't even get a point. So, uh, not Kerfa. Connor gets to get an upgrade. And looking at the stats, man, he did play a little better than us. Um, but we scored more goals. That's all that matters. And we've been promoted to Division 6. I, I don't know how I feel about that. Let, can we can we go back to Div 7, please? So, with Kyle Connor scoring a goal last game, he does get an upgrade. So, we get him up to a 78 for 500 coins. So, we will definitely take that. So, that second line's looking way better. Kyle Connor. And Panarin. And then looking here, we completed some more objectives. I'm not too sure what it is. 200 coins for completing two games. And then making hits, we get an 80 to an 82 overall choice pack, which is actually very good for our team. So we're hoping for an 82 player in here. Uh, let's see who we can get. Um, I, I believe we get four choices and we get to pick one of them. So let's see what we get here. We get a Dylan Cousins, not a bad pull. Jack Campbell, not that we need a goaltender. 
We get a prime time card of Verhage, and he has the synergy that we need, so that might not be a bad shout. And we get a Travis connecting, which we already have. So it's between Dylan Cousins and Carter Verhage. And I think we're going to go with Verhage. He's not the greatest at draw, so maybe we just take him for the wing. Uh, I think Verhage is the way to go. Dylan Cousins is a decent looking card, but um, I think Carter Verhage is the way to go. So welcome to the team, buddy. Just like that, Brandon Peary, he did have a good run with us. He will be coming out for Carter Verhage. I think that's a very solid pickup for us as we are now one off a of well-rounded. Um, and that fourth line's looking better. Our forward core is looking great and our defense is looking pretty good as well. Anyways, guys, that's going to be it for today's Monopoly Hut episode. If you guys did enjoy it, be sure to drop a like on it. If you guys are new around here, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. Uh, and uh, I really hope you guys are enjoying this Monopoly Hut series. I'm having a ton of fun playing it and a uh, ton of fun uh, putting it out. So I hope you guys are really, uh, really are enjoying the series. Anyways, guys, that's going to be it for today's video. I'll see you guys very soon with another Monopoly Hut. But like I said, that is it for today. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace!